Welcome back to the Weasel Guys. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Weasel. Mikan? How are you? Hey dude, how's it going? Good bro, how are you? How are you? Well, we can't even do a proper intro. Can't even do a proper intro by some artificial intelligence that's upset by how we misrepresented them. Like we were like just talking and then we got too too into thinking about how what like how we should do the intro and it just came off really insincere. Mm. How are you? Mikan? Mikan? How are you? Mikan? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh there we are. You're back, buddy. Another week, another weasel. Study and, and hear your thoughts on it. Um, so Essentially, they, they're trying to figure out, or one of the things that they're working on is happiness. Like, what causes somebody to be, like, what like what makes for a good life for a human being? And they've studied people throughout their entire lives at this point to be able to answer some of these questions. Uh, and it, it's a lot of the same stuff that, that, you, that you'd recognize, uh, that, that you're like, okay, yeah, like, work out makes you happier community makes you happy like you need to have people makes you happier one of the one of the most interesting questions he asked though was what's something that most people get wrong about hmm. happiness and it, per, it it perked my ears up for sure but the answer blew my mind dude he was like what most people get wrong about happiness is that they think that if they do everything right they fucking work out, they eat good, they have good relationships, they call their friends, they talk to their mom all the time, whatever, that they'll be happy 100% of the time. But that's, like, what, what we found is that that's not the case. Yeah, like, sometimes you just have bad days. You just and, have, like, low, like, it's just where your brain works. But in, things, right? in my mind, that's, how, that's definitely how I think about happiness, is... Like, I'm like, oh, I'm not happy right now because I, I fucked off my meditation today, all right? I fucked, right, okay. Like, 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 I didn't work out today. Or, like, this is wrong in my life, or blah, 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 blah. And, and then that was just a moment for me to be like, oh, shit. Sometimes you just have a bad day. And there's no, nothing really you can do about it. Nope. Just move forward, right, boys? Well, yeah, the move forward thing for sure, but it, it, I think it was kind of like a, a realization for me to to kind of take off the pressure that I put on myself. Because like normally, whenever I'm I'm pissy or I'm moody or something, I'm like, what like what did I fuck up today in my life? You know, like, like what what did I not do good enough that made me have, be in this mindset that I am right now? When it could just be, hey, I was, just had a just had a bad day today, you know. I yeah, and I, I, I think um, Very, actually. that mindset too of, of like thinking that if you do all these things, you're going to be happy, and then the, you're not happy because you haven't accomplished one of those things. That can often lead into um, addictive behaviors, whether it's addicted to alcohol and drugs, or addicted to ex too much exercise, or you know, because now you you've associated that negative feeling with the lacking of that one thing i didn't meditate today mm -hmm. that's why my day sucks so you meditate every single fucking day and then you fucking um you can even hyper fixate on on the wrong things too you know so you're you're thinking like oh well i didn't meditate so that's why my day is shit where it could be something completely unrelated and having that ability to introspectively look at what it is that's that's causing you to be unhappy and, and even if it is something that you can't control being able to recognize that it's out of your control and being able to let go is one of the steps in it's one of the steps of meditating as well as which yeah you let go and you, you recognize that you you can't control everything you can't even control anything really if you think about it and and then that's almost a, a sense of relief in and of itself Oh, kind of. You you kind of broke up for a second on the, on the back end, but I wanted to tell you that like the things that particularly he that's my cousin. The things that particularly he he mentioned were like 
Yeah, okay. So, so the guy was like, okay, so, so what's the recipe for happiness? You did the study, you tell me what's the, what's the recipe for happiness. And he was like, like you need to work out. Uh, you need meditation, you need community, but you also need luck. Straight up luck. And I was like, and this is a scientist, psychologist, because like ultimately you, you are a product of what happens to you as well. That's going to greatly impact your life. And I was like, fuck, I hate that. <laughs>